Hey guys, welcome to Nostalgic Nez, a brand new series I've started on YouTube. Well, sort of a new series because I have started this in the past. I recorded three videos, but at the time I was using my mobile phone to record the games off the screen, and it wasn't that good. So now I've got proper game capture software, the Elgato, I figured I could do so much better with the series. So why the NES or the NES as you might call it? Well the NES was my first ever games console and I've got many fond memories of playing games such as NES Open Tournament Golf, Off I Move My Head, Super Mario Bros 3 and Bucky O'Hare. Uh, yeah, me and my mates had endless hours of fun with the NES and I just wanted to do a video game series and focus on this particular console. Uh, my channel did start with gaming, it has gone on to many other things but I kind of wanted to go back and do an old fashioned video game series and focus on the NES. Um, so I figured I would do a A to Z to start off with and then maybe after that I would just focus on random games here and there. And the first game I've gone for is one that was never released in the UK, it's called Armadillo. Uh, it was never released in North America either, I think it was planned but got cancelled. And this was released in Japan in 1991 and it was developed by AIM, AIM and published by IGS. And basically you play as an armadillo going to rescue the love of your life. And when you see this game, you, it might remind you of something else. So guys... Thank you for watching, and, well, let's take a look, shall we? Here we are. Billy the Shell and his girlfriend Shell lived a happy life in Texas, but one day Shell was kidnapped by the evil Black Bean Gang. It's up to Billy to save Shell and bring her back home safe and sound. So we got the normal storyline. Fillin's uh, hero's girlfriend gets kidnapped by the villain or boyfriend. And look at that screen. Straight away you think Super Mario Bros, right? Armadillo and the bulls chasing him. <laughs> okay, and so our hero heads for the gang's hideout. Uh, straight away, you can see the similarities to Super Mario here. It's like the Super Mario Bros. 3 map, and to get onto levels, you just gotta click onto them. Onto the big pictures. Okay, so to defeat the enemies, you roll up like you saw there into the Armadillo ball. The Armadillo! If you do strike an enemy while he's just in normal mode, you will automatically get killed. So yeah, this <laughs> this game isn't too bad, but it's not great. Sometimes the jumping's a bit like a bit off. You can jump too far and fall off a ledge, like and down a hole. That's not cool. But I do quite enjoy it for some for some reason. I don't know why. This is something about curling up into a ball and jumping on people. Well, ghosts. Why are they ghosts? Are they ghosts? I don't know. And why do you have cute bunnies? Like, surely cute little bunnies like that are not uh, a threat? Well, the armadillo doesn't think so. Billy? So, yeah. Going for the doors. <laughs> There's a bar in the middle of the desert, love it. So going for the doors does take you through to the second part of the level. And then you have a goal. And the further you jump, the more points you get. What was I remind you of? Yes, the flagpole is at the end of the Super Mario Bros. levels. And this is the, like the end of level screen. Don't really understand it. He just like jumps into several ninja versions of himself. Okay. So you're aiming to get to that yellow looking thing on the right hand side of the screen. Um, I haven't played the entire game of this. But so far the levels are really short and really easy. Uh, you had a choice here, go left or right. I chose right, but did I make the right decision? So you go down, bouncing off the walls. Well, there's a lot of enemies on the left, so maybe I did. There's lots of stars and moons around there, doesn't make sense. And you fall right on top of the door. And end up in the desert once again. Well, there's some kind of like raccoons or something. Oh, there's the bull. Yes, two hits and he goes flying himself. And once again, then you have the end of level goal screen. Ah, uh, hit 5,000. That'll do. Uh, when you hit 3,000 points, you get a life up. An extra life, a life up, one up. And once again, you split into a lot of little armadillos. So that's how they do it. 
Okay, so you can see our target is moving away of us. He moves a block every time we move a block. Bit sneaky. What? Ignore that, then my iPad just turned on and started speaking to me. Okay, so uh, you've got some birds on this level. They're uh, like Zazu off the Lion King, and you can smash blocks, which then let you get into this, uh, into these gifts. And this bit's kind of weird. You turn into a kangaroo. Now, I'm not sure what happens if you, like, touch the enemies with, in the kangaroo state. Apart from then, but I mean, like, that's because I had invincibility on. But yeah, kangaroo's a bit weird. An armadillo into a kangaroo. I keep on thinking he's turned into a basketball in this mode. Yep, so I have no idea what these little stick men are doing. There again, once again is the bar. Now this bit I decided to go back and see if I could do a running kind of roll thing. Because um it is hard to get points on you. As you can see I made a total mess of it. And in the end I thought it's all good. Two thousand points will do. And there's our one up because we hit thirty thousand points. And here we go again. Yep, happy little family. Okay, so as you can see, that guy has gone all over there now. So I thought I'd try and chase him instead of going for the level. There is a reason I avoided that level, by the way. I've played it um, before recording this, and there's a lot of awkward jumps. So I thought, save frustration. Here we go. Let's fight the boss. How happy does that house look to see you? It's amazing. Ah. Okay, so we're in some kind of like dungeon now. Um, and you go, the boss is a statue. He's a bit of a, some kind of lizard gecko. And he killed me straight away. Of course, why not? And of course, then you have to go all the way around by deciding to uh, edit that out for you guys and through attempt at number two jump the bullet and then I press jump again for some reason poor gameplay unless it was just me didn't work third time lucky maybe so I went into a ball straight away hit him once then I knew that thing could kill me so I thought I'd go to higher ground and you avoid the bullets and then bash again with the uh, armadillo and then hit him again and that's it. You pick up some kind of green thing, and that's it. Boys, I'm headed for Mon Valley. Take care of that nosy shell for me, the boss. So, guys, that is where I'm going to leave it. You do fly then to the next <laughs> world. <laughs> oh, that's great. And so our hero has arrived at Monument Valley. Yeah, so quite similar to Super Mario Bros. Not too bad. Not perfect either by any means. Um... I think if you played it a lot, you would uh, get used to it and progress further. But that's I'm happy with that for now. I have uh, I might go back to this. Yeah, why not? Anyway, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.